Governor. Hi, Leanne Melendez from ABC7 News. I have a different question, and I'm told that I'm the last person to ask uh, among the reporters. But uh, with regard to what happened in Walnut Creek this weekend and what happened in San Francisco at the Louis Vuitton, a lot of people around the country are saying or asking, what is going on? How would you describe what is going on in the Bay Area in California with regard to these retail thefts? What would you call them? Well, you have organized people that are opportunistic, but also organized, and they wanted to take advantage, I imagine. Timing was rather interesting around the Rittenhouse decision, and we're trying to take advantage of that. I mean, that, these, these are crimes of opportunity, but they're very well organized. And there's just, there's, I have no empathy, no sympathy for these kind of criminal gangs and elements, and they need to be held to account. Uh, there's nothing right about this. And, uh, and so, we just got to be more aggressive. And we haven't been passive. As I said, I reconstituted the Retail Theft Task Force in July. We talked about it, and not everybody covered it, okay, respectfully. I'm not sure a lot of folks here did. We did a huge event, 13 big city mayors, police chiefs across the state, when we announced our efforts that did it down in Long Beach. Um, so we haven't been shy in this space. We've been leaning in. We have a lot of joint task forces, not just in retail theft, but also other task forces across the spectrum helping support cities and counties, particularly as it relates to organized elements that are outside of particular jurisdictions. And that's what these look to appear like. I, I'm, I'm not an investigator, but the state is supplementing the investigation of these efforts. The state is offering expertise, training, and data that is being shared in real time within hours of the events that occurred on Friday night in San Francisco, CHP reached out to San Francisco Police Department. We reached out to Walnut Creek Police Department. Walnut Creek directed support by asking us to get more folks on 680. We already did that. We did it on SR4 specifically. Others have asked for different kinds of support. Uh, we met with retailers over the weekend directly not just with police departments. And we asked the retailers what they would like, and they would like to see more presence as well. And that's why today you will see an increased presence in and around large retail centers and shopping malls all throughout the Bay. So people uh, see a visible presence as a deterrence. These people need to be held to account. We need to investigate these crimes. We need to break up these crime rings. And we need to make an example out of these folks because the impact they're having is in your question. They're not just stealing people's products and impacting their livelihoods. They're, they're stealing a sense of place and confidence. And that's why you've got to get serious about it. Now, I'm not the mayor of California, but I was a mayor. And I know when things like this happen, Mayors have to step up. That's not an indictment. That's not a cheap shot. Please don't run saying, you know, governor called. I didn't. I'm just saying that I hope and I was pleased. And I want to thank Mayor Breed. We were exchanging uh, this morning back and forth text messages. She had a press conference the next day. I liked what the DA said. I mean, that's what you need. Got to be assertive. Got to be tough on this. Um, and again, you know, we will do our part and we've been doing our part. And I'm looking forward to working with Senator Weiner next year to substantially, I, I know what I'm putting in next, I'm, my budget goes into print in a couple weeks. I already know what I'm putting in, I don't want to get ahead of myself. But there is an exponential increase of support to help cities and counties address this issue and other quality of life issues that I will be submitting to the legislature in the budget. Exponentially larger than what we've done in the past because we cannot allow this to continue, period, full stop.